Even though this third-party reporting system may not be fully up and running across the country, uh, certainly no later than May 31st, I think it would be important for our people to know that in the meantime, this doesn't preclude any allegations uh, against bishops from coming forward directly to the Metropolitan or, you know, through some other way through the through the nuncio or whatever. So in other words, we're not going to, I think it's important for our people to know that we're not going to hold off on responding to any things that do come forward outside of a third party reporting system in the meantime. If the report is about an act of child sexual abuse on the part of one of us bishops, Ethics Point conveys that to the two judges on our independent review board. Mm -hmm. They are then instructed to contact civil authorities, they contact the Metropolitan, and they contact the Nuncio. So all three of those entities would be notified yes. by these two. These are the, that's the independence, if you will, of the mechanism. So you have the vendor who runs the hotline, but you have the independent individuals who then ascertain the category, and then they make the notification to the appropriate authority. These systems are designed to accommodate confidential complaints. Um, and um, there, obviously, if a complaint is confidential, not as much can be done with it, but at the same time, um, there is that capacity, and I think the extent to which that capacity is used is going to be one of the questions that needs to be entrusted to the responsible committees. Who takes care of the victim? How, what happens? To the, I mean, and she said, I'm, I'm suffering from all of this. Uh, you know, if we have the local scene, we know how to uh, have the uh, local coordinator for victims uh, or the victim's advocate deal with this, but what happens to her now? Who takes care of her? In, in general, um, you know, the idea is that this system the, that we're talking about, the reporting system, channels it to the appropriate ecclesial authority and then they, among other things in Vos Estes, they conduct investigation. Of course, that's part of it, but another part of it is the provision of pastoral care. So that's something that would kick in after the, the report is handed off from the system on the one hand to the metropolitan or senior suffragan on the other, and so that's kind of downstream. But even though it's outside the third party reporting system as such, my sense is that that dimension of pastoral care would be present and provided at the local level. Yeah.